Hi, it's me again, Pat Sutton. I'm the oldie, not wrinkly lady. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming back and having another chat with me. It's really nice to have people that I can talk to who can help me and, and I hope to ha I'm going to help them to improve our lives. Um, I wanted to talk today about some things that I've decided to do in my life that are go it's going to simplify my life a little bit. Um, John's just coming back from the hospital today and he's um, he's he's going to need a, quite a lot of um, looking after because he has to um, stay in bed in the mornings, keep his legs up because he's just had a, a knee replacement. And um, so, of course, everything is going to be on me again. But I'm going to let the grass grow a little bit and I'm going to not worry about how clean the house is. I'm going to think about myself. And the first thing I'm going to do, I've decided, is every morning... I'm going to do a, a meditation. Now, self-meditation is quite difficult because usually I would go to a yoga class and somebody would talk me through it and I would find myself meditating quite well. But to do it yourself, it's got, you've got to be a little bit more strict. So I find that I use a scenario that really works for me. And the scenario is that I imagine that my head is hollow. Can you believe your head's hollow? So you've got nothing inside and you've got a hole in the front of your head and you have crawled inside. And inside is the most serene, beautiful area. And you've got a great big cushion in the middle of the room and you can sit on that cushion and be really comfortable. And then you can start to really, really feel serene. Nobody can touch you. Nobody can, can do anything with you. They just have to leave you alone because you're sitting in your little space right inside your head. And you can see through that hole all the things rushing by outside, all the things that are going on outside. But you don't have to have anything to do with it because you're in your little space inside your head. And that's how I get to my space. And then I can close my eyes and imagine myself inside this space. I can just, if, if my mind starts to go to sort of things that I shouldn't be thinking about when I'm trying to meditate, then I just imagine that hole and those things just going whooshing by and not affecting me. And then I sit in that little space inside my head um, for as long as I need and then when I'm ready I come out of it and I find that is a really really perfect way of getting myself into a zone where I feel safe <laughs> crazy I know it's crazy inside your head but it, it works for me another thing I do as well is I've um, taken up art again so I do a lot of digital art um, but I've also taken up um, charcoal drawing. I followed some YouTube videos and and thought, well, charcoal is easy. It's um, it's 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 not going to be expensive, and it's not. And I'm really enjoying it. And I'm going to post a little bit of my latest charcoal drawing on here a little bit uh, a little bit later. There's a couple of other things you can do to simplify your life as well. Um, try to try to sort of not be too worried about the cushions not being in the right place. Who's going to see them? All right, if your guest come, if you get a guest and they sit down and they mess up your couch, so it's messed up. It's not the end of the world. Just remember that these things don't matter. And that, that it's your life. It's your life that you're talking about. So they don't matter. Um, another thing I think that would be a good thing for you to do would be to um, consider maybe the food side of life. Start eating more healthily, but easier. Instead of doing a plate with a, with all the different things that you normally would have on a plate, because we do tend to be, especially the Brits, we do tend to be um, in that zone where we need to have meat and veg and everything else. Well, of course, I don't have the meat because I'm vegan. But if you do eat the meat, it's, it, then that's what we're used to. We have the meat and the veg and the potatoes. Forget that. Just have a meal of, say, a bowl, have a Buddha bowl and put a little bit of this and a little bit of that inside that bowl and then just sit and eat it with a fork. All you've got then is a fork and a bowl to wash. You haven't got all the other things to wash. Um, it can be cold. It doesn't have to be a cooked meal. Um, go and buy things. Buy a, in, in, in the supermarkets now, they have these gorgeous Buddha bowls. Buy one and bring it home and you can see exactly what's in it. There's usually couscous and some veggies and maybe an egg and maybe some chicken if you like chicken. Do that. 
but don't buy processed foods. I'm not saying to go and buy processed foods. I'm saying to go and buy your, your real um, healthy foods. And I think that that alone can help you. In the mornings for breakfast, I used to make porridge. So I would ha I would make porridge and then I'd get fruit and then I'd put this and I'd put that. And then, then I'd sit down to the, my porridge and I'd do the same for John. Now I make a smoothie. I've got a great um, protein shake that I that I use it's the the best I've ever tried it's so so um, delicious and the, the the one that I've got is a chocolate and raspberry flavor so you can imagine how lovely that is and I have that in the morning with some oats a little bit of frozen fruit um, just all sorts of things like that so it's 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 so easy to to make things easier and that's what I'm trying to say to you as you get older and then people will need you more so, so you know John's going to need me now when he comes in they do need you more but you've got to weigh it up you can't just carry on with that big heavy side to your life and then take on another heavy side try to 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 simplify things and I'm sure you'll find it much much easier if you like what I'm saying to you today please please just click that button down there because the more people who follow me, the more people that I can help and the more people that will help me. So thanks for coming to my channel.